So what is going on guys at the King777 HD here and welcome to the very last squad building for 14. I say in previous video that uh, the bronze one I made is going to be my last one but then uh, I decided to show you this team right here because this team is very very good team and I uh, have some very expensive and very overpowered players. So um, this team right here... <coughs> He's going to be the last one, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So let's get into it, and we're going to start with the goalkeeper in this team, and we're going to be using Neto. He is nothing as good as he used to be in previous FIFA's, like last year or two years ago in FIFA 12. He used to be an outstanding keeper, but one of the best in silver category, or the better one as well. This year he got a slightly downgrade in his stats, and. Um, he wasn't just as good as he used to be. He was quite inconsistent, but the reason why I wanted to use him is because of his tie height and because I use Aranjo all over the place, but I just wanted to try him out, but he he was as good as Aranjo in my opinion, nothing outstanding. Um, but pretty alright, to be honest with you. Um, now up to my uh, center backs, and we're going to be using these two, Joao Carlos and Dani Moraes. Nothing outstanding about them, to be honest. They were pretty decent, mostly for chemistry reasons. The squad, because uh, Boreas is playing for the Saudi Arabian League, where otherwise Joe Carlos is playing for Spartak. But they were pretty decent, pretty tall, decent headers on these two guys, but nothing outstanding in comparison to some other ridiculous silver center backs. Now to my left back, and this guy is absolutely ridiculous. His name is Mega Rayo. Bought him for only 2,100 coins, and look at his stats, absolutely ridiculous. 86 pace, 73 dribbling, 72 defending, and he's now playing for Kuban Kars Nodar in the Russian league, so he gets the perfect, so he gets the pretty strong uh, links with other of my uh, <coughs> Russian league players. And he was just a very, very good left back. Last year he was pretty overpowered. This year is still very, very good. High medium work rate, so it's more, uh, more attacking left back, but not that attacking left back. He also have a lot in defense. Very good all around the stats. Almost all of them are on the 70 areas, which is very, very good. And he was a very fun player to play with. Now my right back, and he was another very solid player. His name is Muat. Um, and he was a solid right back, like he got very very good pace, he's very fast. Defensive wise he felt much better than what his in-game stats shows. And uh, for 800 coins you just can't go wrong with him. Two assists as well in 8 games. Very solid, actually managed to defend uh, very well against gold players as well, which was very very fun to see. Very solid left back and right back but defensive wise this team wasn't the greatest but it wasn't the point of this team the point of this team was pretty much these two <laughs> center midfielders Kaustrom was the first one yeah, I pretty much built this team around him because I wanted to try him out because I haven't done that uh, previously but he was a class player like he feels like a high rated goal player in my opinion especially passing wise his passing was just out of this world feels like a high rated goal player or something like Huamata like Kazola very very great passing abilities on this guy and uh, his long shots were also out of this world his long shots, are, long shots and free kicks are just outstanding Scoring three goals in eight games is very good. Not too many assists, but he passed the ball to my wingers pretty much the most of the time. But in my opinion, a very, very good and very fun player to play with. 8,500 coins. He, I wanted to buy him before actually, but he was pretty expensive. He, some of player, some of the uh, people managed to price fix him, so it was pretty unaffordable to buy on the PC market. But now I managed to get my hands on him, and I'm very, very proud and very glad I actually could do that. Now up to my one of my favorite players in this team, and it's going to be Elton Jose Javier Gomez. Um, he's just absolutely incredible. Like I just love him so much in this game because he's very small, but he is a agile son of a bitch. <laughs> very expensive player, though. I managed to get my hands on him during the market crash, so I managed to get him for under 50k, which is ridiculous. 
usually goes around 60 to 70k on Xbox is like 80k or something ridiculous price on him but he's very very fast and um, he got very very good dribbling he's dribbling for a silver player is just out of this world 80 to dribbling like the ball control and dribbling wise he's just absolutely incredible he just can pass every single player I used him my gold team, gold Brazilian team because just, he was just as good. He was ridiculous. Long shot wise, oh my days. His long shot are just incredible and free kicks. He got the power of free kick trade so he can score some great free kicks as well. Decent passing as well. Very, very good player. One of my favorite centre midfielders this year. Or centre attack midfielders, like midfield, silver midfielder this year. This guy was pretty much purely for coming to reasons. His name is Kano. Um, very tall, pretty strong, he's actually a very strong player. Um, but yeah, he was just a um, decent uh, all-rounded player with all-rounded stats for a 6 9 rated player. And uh, he played pretty well in this sense of the first midfielder role, not gonna lie. Now up to my left winger and we're going to have my con Marquette Bittencourt. Very French name to be honest with you. Sounds a little bit French, like Bittencourt is a French pretty much name. I don't know. But he was a solid, solid left winger for me. Three star skills is pretty much his only disadvantage. Although he's a very, very good player. Very fast, he got good dribbling. He's very tall and pretty strong. He has like 71 strength and uh, he got pretty good height. So that's kind of a positive, in my opinion. He got good shot on him long shot wise he's very very good he's kind of a he feels sometimes still with the ball especially when they take the shot with him to spend a lot of time taking the shots but he was a great player good passing as well and very good for his team <coughs> now to my uh, right winger and this guy in my opinion is a very very underrated player in this game his name is Salem Al Dosari uh, 800 coins I paid for him and um he got 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, a high low work rate, so he's have the perfect work rate, he's always on the top, pushing for a lot, he's always on top, waiting for a ball, gained a good position, very good pace, good dribbling, very solid shot on him, I really did enjoy the play with this guy, he's very underrated in my opinion. Now to my last player in this team, and he's the main man himself, Japsun, the FIFA level legend, back in FIFA, 14. Very very good player, 36,000 coins, I'm not a player but during the market crash, w during the team of the season or team of the year of course, sorry for that. <laughs> Did score me too many goals because I mostly tried to score like a skill compilation goals, I managed to get some incredible goals with him, which is very fun, a lot of S's as well, like 16 S's is a lot for this guy. Um, good pace, good dribbler, solid shot on him, especially long shots. I would actually prefer to play with him as a centre forward, he's a perfect he's position for him, in my opinion, or since I like midfielder, 5 star skill moves. And he just fits perfectly in this team, gets strong links with Elton, and I'm hoping this team was a very, very fun team to play with. So, this is the team, guys, now going to show you my goals, and see you next time. Peace.